Hey guys, it's Russo. Um, I'm just gonna tell you guys that, um, sorry about my eye. It's kinda acting up. But, um, this is not the day one of Told You the Vlog, so I'm just kinda doing a random, like, kind of, just like a daily vlog thing. But not every day, it's just like a normal vlog, nothing special about this, so. Anyway, um, I'm really excited for 12 Days of Vlog, actually, because, um, I just think it's gonna be really fun, um, especially because I really love vlogging, like, because it's really less time-consuming for me, and, um, as you see, when I first started my channel, I did kind of do vlogs when I went to Amsterdam and Paris, so that would be, like, a nice revisiting for me to, like, vlog again, because, but, yeah, but, um, just an update on you. Um, I've been, so when I woke up, literally so many cars walking by, so I was like, oh, just ignore it if you hear any background noises that are irritating, so, yeah, basically, um, when I woke up this morning, it was around 2, um, I usually wake up at 2 in the holidays, but, um, so, there was, like, a lot of news on Twitter, and I was, like, breaking out when I first saw this, but apparently now was spotted at the KLIA um, airport. So I was like officially just like mind blown. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, ugh. But um, I quickly texted all my friends and um, apparently the, the, the photo I first saw was photoshopped and um, it was one of him standing outside in the car park and it was not the same picture, like he was not wearing the same clothes as what he was wearing inside the airport. But then later on, I found out the real pictures, and I was like, oh, so annoyed at all the Wendy update accounts on Twitter because they were not very accurate, actually. So, yeah, and KLIA is actually really near to where I live. Actually, I'm not really near. It takes about like maybe one to two hours to drive there or take a bus, but. Yeah, I wouldn't get on a plane because that was just, like, too much for me. But I just wish I kind of knew, you know? Like, he was apparently transiting in, um, KLIA and he went to Australia. I'm not very sure what's happening right now. I don't know. But my friend's all joking that I'm stalking One Direction 24-7, which is, uh, I don't know. So much car noises of living in the city, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the pictures right now. And the first, the first one is this one, where he is with one bodyguard, let me tell you, one bodyguard only, and he's, um, wearing a white shirt, and, yeah, you can see what he looks like in there. And it was a picture I sent on WhatsApp to my friends. <laughs> and then the paparazzi in Malaysia couldn't do better because, I mean, seriously, they could have done so much better by, like, there was literally no paps there, and he was just walking in the airport unnoticed, and I just felt so bad, like, yeah, but, um, here, he is with some fans, yeah, so... You can clearly see this is the airport. I actually, I've been there a few times myself. So, um, this is the ground level where you exit from the plane. So, I know that that's accurate. And plus, I know it's not Photoshop because, um, you can clearly see their shadows and everything. And no Photoshop could have made it so accurate. Yeah. But, I just think fan photos are so cute. Yeah. Uh, you can go, you can go on Twitter and check all the update accounts are. Actually, don't. Just search, um, just search up on Twitter, um, go to your, um, search bar, I guess, yeah. Go to your search bar and stop interrupting. Anyway, just go to your search bar and search, um, Nile, K-L-I-A, which is, stands for Kuala Lumpur International Airport, because, um, I've been there a lot of times myself, so, yeah. Anyway, KLI was actually trending worldwide on Twitter, which is really crazy, yeah. But, um, I'm kind of really sad, yeah. I got so depressed after I knew, because I could have been there, and I could have met him. So, I mean, it 
was the first time when I when I thought that the one duty up duty cons were like irrelevant. I know. I just wish I just wish that I was there, you know. I was actually there like a week ago when I could have maybe I was really near there like a week ago. Could have met him so and we take note that this is going up on the same day that he was in Kale, so, uh, Like, I, I'm currently feeling, like, the fangirl depression state. I don't know. It's just so depressing. Yeah. I don't know, but, girl, if you're sad, you can DM me on Twitter and maybe we'll cry together. I don't know. But, yeah. So, um, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. And hopefully you enjoy Top Daisy Vlogs, too. And bye!